In this video, we'll look at the IV characteristics of a semiconductor diode. Again, a rheostat will be used as a potential divider to control the voltage. Also note the 10 ohm resistor in series with the diode. This is so that the diode doesn't get damaged with any high currents. This is what the 10 ohm resistor looks like. And this is the diode. Notice the silver band. This is the cathode. With the diode, it's very important that we get it the right way round. This is the negative terminal of the battery, and you can see that that runs to the cathode. The slider in this position gives zero volts, and you can see the ammeter reads zero amps. Now I'm moving the slider for a higher voltage, and we've got the multimeter in parallel with just the diode, not the diode and the resistor. So I'm currently trying to hold the leads and push them down at the same time. I clearly need more hands. That holds at 0.448 volts. To get the ammeter reading, we put it in series. So we take that there and place it here. Turning the ammeter on in the 200 milliamp range gives us nothing. In the 20 milliamp range, it gives us 0 0.03 milliamps. So we're going to put it down a degree further to the 2 milliamp range, and that gives 0 0.036 milliamps. Let's increase the voltage again. As you can see, the multimeter leads are in parallel with the diode. So that's a voltmeter reading of 0 0.573 volts. A quick switch puts the multimeter in series to give an ammeter reading of 0 0.520 milliamps. That's a significant increase from before. As per usual, we just repeat this process to get the following results. Let's see what happens when we reverse the terminals. Here's the positive terminal, and the ammeter reading is zero, even though it's at the maximum voltage. You can see moving the slider makes no difference. The ammeter reading is still zero. So what does this look like on a graph? Well, you can see that there's no current at all for the negative voltages and it takes quite a bit of potential difference to allow for any significant current to flow. But once the potential difference is about 0.7 volts, the current flows quite freely. So in summary, increasing the voltage actually decreases the resistance, and there is a minimum voltage for any current to flow at all. The reason for this is the diode is made from semiconducting material. In a semiconductor, the electrons need to be supplied with energy to be released. Details of how this relates to resistivity is given on page 148 of the textbook. We also found that because it's a diode, reversing the terminals leads to no current output. At high voltages, the resistance is minimal, so an additional resistor is necessary to protect the diode. In this example, the 10 ohm resistor ensures that the maximum possible current is 0.15 amps for this 1.5 volt cell.